Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX Starship launch waved off. Japanese eVTOL manufacturer begins courting private owner operators. Investment firm buys into Tempest Aero Group. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. SpaceX Starship launch waved off. SpaceX halted the test launch of its Starship due to a stuck valve in the first stage booster, cutting the launch sequence at 40 seconds. SpaceX chief Elon Musk live tweeted the launch as the fateful takeoff approached, only to announce that, quote, a pressurant valve appears to be frozen, so unless it starts operating soon, no launch today, end quote. Not long after, he said the firm was, quote, offloading propellant, retrying in a few days, end quote. The Starship was unladen in preparation for a test voyage as part of the wider effort to establish it as the basis for future missions to the Moon and Mars. While the launch appeared to be a wash to those eagerly watching for the fireworks, SpaceX rumors says the team was actually pleased with the almost launch. Allowing it to count down acted as a sort of live fire exercise, uncovering a never-before-seen problem in the Starship system that could be addressed and solved before causing real problems in a later launch. The Starship has a payload of 150,000 kilograms, exceeding the Saturn V's by 32,000 kilograms, and NASA's SLS rocket by 55,000 kilograms. Likewise, Starship's 390-foot height surpasses everything that came before it. The legendary Saturn V is nearly 30 feet shorter. The next attempt may occur this Thursday. Coming up after the break, retired T-38 on civilian aircraft market. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Retired T-38 on civilian aircraft market. Thornton Aviation announced the availability for sale of a T-38A. The basic core package of the jet is available for sale and can be customized. The aircraft is the first to be offered as a project by Thornton Aviation for civilian use. The aircraft, T-38A-40, registration November 338 Tango Charlie, Northrop serial number 5301, USAF serial number 610935, has a total of 6,479 total airframe hours. The machine is powered by a pair of General Electric J8513C turbojet engines, respectively totaling 1,314 and 3,369 hours total time since new. We now know what we want for Christmas. Unleaded fuel comes to Oxnard. South California's Golden West Jet Center will begin offering unleaded avgas in the form of Swift's UL-94. The Oxnard Airport FBO received its first tanker of UL-94 gas in March, providing locals a way to avoid the use of leaded fuel in their piston-engined aircraft. The Swift product stands apart from some competing lead-free avgas options by offering a more consistent buy-in for the STC, standing at $100 right now. Golden West will now offer Swift's UL-94 as a part of a network of providers expanding throughout the West Coast. Pan Am Academy acquires 737 MAX 8 SIM Pan Am Flight Academy just obtained a new Level D B737 MAX 8 simulator to enhance its commercial pilot training offerings. The MAX 8 allows the school to provide up-to-date training with a quote state-of-the-art simulator and should be ready for student use by July. The sim uses the most recent L3 Harris Reality 7 technology with inbuilt avionics and systems of a production aircraft. The MAX 8 will allow students to acquaint themselves and build proficiency with runway awareness and advisory system, TCAS 2 7.1, weather radar, electric control loading and motion system, and RSI Epic Visual Systems. USAF probes English language training of foreign pilots. U.S. military aviation officials are evaluating the effectiveness and possible culpability of a U.S.-run program by which foreign aviators are taught ostensibly to speak, read, and communicate in the English language. 
Personnel of the U.S. Air Force's Aviation Safety Division are currently looking into the quality of the instruction provided by the USAF-led Defense Language Institute's English Language Center, a Texas institution to which pilot training units from across the U.S. and around the globe send students to brush up on aviation's worldwide official language, English. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Japanese eVTOL manufacturer begins courting private owner-operators. SkyDrive's SD05 will soon be available to the little guy, now that the company is accepting orders from private owner-operators. The move is still a bit uncommon in the eVTOL scene, with most manufacturers content to aim their wares at the expected rideshare and point-to-point -point carrier markets. To kick off private sales, SkyDrive inked a deal with a longtime investor of the company, Kotaro Chiba. The venture capital investor has been immersed in the eVTOL and drone world since founding the Drone Fund, a firm focused on next-gen AIM tech. Chiba said the SkyDrive has slowly become his dream plane. Quote, in 2018, I was captivated by SkyDrive's vision of the future and its innovative aircraft, fueling my dream of flying cars. Upon seeing the company's first prototype, I was convinced that my dream was finally within reach, and I enthusiastically made the decision to invest in SkyDrive. Driven by my passion for the first flying car of the future, I obtained my private pilot license. Since then, SkyDrive has conducted successful crewed test flights and applied for type certification, further solidifying my confidence in the team's ability to make the dream a reality. I eagerly anticipate the exciting adventures that lie ahead in the skies with SD05." And after these messages, investment firm buys into Tempest Aero Group. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Investment firm buys into Tempest Aero Group. Vance Street Capital LLC has announced an investment into Aero Group Holdings LLC, which holds a number of aviation parts and manufacturing brands. Vance Street has now jumped in bed with a number of brands represented by Tempest, including half a dozen fairly well-known names like Tempest, Alcor, Marv Schebler, Precision Air Motive, Consolidated Fuel Systems, and Stratus Tool Technologies. Between the entire Tempest Aero Group portfolio, manufacturing for ignition, filtration, pneumatic components, instrumentation sensors, fuel system components, and specialty tools can all be found under one investment roof. Tempest Aero Group has long centered its work on the support, production, and sustainment of Lycoming and Continental engines, keeping thousands of piston aircraft going as they fulfill their day-to-day -day missions all around the world. Early employee Mike Allen will continue in his role as CEO over Tempest Aero Group, just as he has since coming aboard in the late 90s. Both he and founder Tim Henderson retain, quote, a meaningful ownership position alongside Vance Street, end quote, according to Company Press. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.